Hello students, in our previous module, we have discussed about in-text questions, terminal questions and uh, today we will discuss about some more questions from the lesson on the face of it, short answer type, long answer type and uh, the questions related with extracts and a story narrated by Mr. Lamb, which has a significance in that story. Short answer type question, how does Mr. Lamb try to remove the baseless fears of Derry? Derry has fears and that has no base, without base, without reason, he has a fear. So Mr. Lamb trying to remove that fear. Derry says that people are afraid of his face. Mr. Lamb replies, that there are other things in the world to be noticed. Because he always looks at his face, he worries about his face and thinks that people are afraid of his face. So he asked Derry, how can one distinguish a flower from a weed when both are plants? by giving the examples from his garden. He asks Derry why the people say one is weed and another is flower. Both of them have life. He also tells Derry that he has to take the risk by coming out of his shell. So we know that he was withdrawn and defiant. Particularly in this case he was withdrawn. He keeps aloof from people. He kept himself away from the society. Everybody has problem in his life. Mr. Lamb wants to make him understand and says, but it is our attitude that matters. If we change attitude, the problem will be solved. Next question, it ate my face up, who said these words and why? So in the play, these words are spoken by Derry or we say Derek. He says it ate my face up, what is that? ate his face that is acid. Because of that acid, he got burned on his face. So we know that these are the words spoken by Dere. Why did he say? Let us see. Dere said these words to Mr. Lamb. When he narrated the horrific incident, when his face got burned by acid. The acid ate his face or ate of his face. He said this because the burning of the face destroyed all the happiness in his life. So why did he say? because he has lost that happiness which he had before getting born on his face. Next question is, what qualities of Mr. Lamb attracted Derry to him? Some qualities are there that attracted Mr. Qualities of Lamb attracted that boy 
we know that the name of the boy is Derry. So generally we know that he is withdrawn. He doesn't want to mingle with the people. Even Mr. Lamb. But some quality attracted. He come closer to Mr. Lamb. What is that we will say? Mr. Lamb does not let his physical disability destroy the happiness in his life. But what about the dairy? He allowed that physical disability destroy his happiness. And Mr. Lamb is not afraid of Derry's face. When Derry said, you are afraid of my face. And generally other people also in that play, they are afraid of the burned face of Harry, Derry's. The quality that attracted Derry most to Mr. Lamb was his tremendous patience as he listened to him. So, what is that quality that attracted Derry? That is patience. Mr. Lamb had patience that he didn't see in other people's. So he talked to him about things which mattered. Meaning of this statement is or the sentence is what is useful for Derry? That's what he spoken. That things nobody else had ever said to him. This quality attracted Derry. Why does Derry's mother not want him to go back to visit Mr. Lamb? So in the second scene of that play, this event took, took place or this event takes place. When he goes back to home, mother warns Derek not to go back to the garden or to meet Mr. Lamb. What is the reason behind it? The reason behind it his mother claims to have heard many things about Mr. Lamb. What we say, the prejudice. She had heard about Ms. Mr. Lamb. She has been told and warned by the people. The people has, they have told him, told her about Mr. Lamb, about his uh, attitudes. Terry's mother thinks Mr. Lamb is not a good person. This is the reason. She asked Derry not to go back there. But Derry asked her not to believe all she hears. See the second scene, that attitude of the Derry is changed. He says that whatever the things you hear, don't believe it. It may be true or it may be false. Somewhat long type questions, we will see. What was Derry's infirmity or disability? How had it made him withdrawn and defiant? You know the meaning of these words, withdrawn and defiant. Withdrawn, keep aloof from people. A defiant, someone who is disobedient or disobey the authority. Derry's face was scarred one side as it had been burnt by acid. This made him look rather ugly and frightful. This is the infirmity which Derry had. It was for this reason that people did not associate freely with him. He was often pitied, ridiculed or shunned by people. Derry became highly sensitive to what people said about him. That he does, couldn't be able to forgive. His parents, family friends and well-wishers were all greatly concerned about his future. Their anxiety, their concern, their apprehensions. That pained 
dairy more than the impairment itself. This abnormal treatment by the people gradually made the dairy pessimistic and bitter. And he became withdrawn and defiant. He often avoided company and began to lead a life of seclusion. Both, next question, dairy and lamb are physically impaired and lonely. Physically disabled, one has lost his leg, another, is heavy, uh, another got burned on his face and they feel lonely also. It is the responsibility of the society to understand and support people with infirmities so that they do not suffer from a sense of alienation or also isolation. As a responsible citizen, write in 120 to 150 words what you would do to bring about a change in the lives of such people. So some value based questions. So after reading the play, what is your opinion you have to give? How we can bring the change? People with some physical disability or impairment are often pitied and ridiculed by others. This is general views of the people. This makes them develop a sense of inferiority. This makes them develop a sense of inferiority. They form a shell around themselves and begin to lead a life of seclusion. Here they form a shell means they keep away from the people or live in isolation. As a responsible citizen, it's our duty to treat such people with love and affection and not make them a subject of our pity or ridicule. We should try to understand their infirmity and empathize with them. We must give them due respect and thus motivate them to feel at par with the others in the society so that they do not suffer from a sense of isolation or alienation and they are able to live a normal life. We must make them aware of the innumerable opportunities available to them and bring a ray of hope in their lives. But what we see today is they have given lot of opportunities. Suppose a able-bodied person can take part in Olympic and these people also take part in Olympic. You might have heard about that uh, game, Para Olympics. So likewise, not only this sports, in all spheres of life that they have given an opportunity. So you can add these points in such questions. Next question is, the lesson on the face of it is an apt depiction of the loneliness and sense of alienation experienced by people on account of a disability. Explain. How you can explain? So, Mr. Lamb and Derry both suffer from physical impairment. Mr. Lamb has got a tin leg. His real leg has been blown off in a war. Derry's face got burned as acid fell on it. How they become impaired? This we see here. One's leg has blown off in a war and another acid fell on his face. Derry, due to his burned face, tries to keep away from people. He hates it when people have pity on him. He thinks that people are scared of him. Scared here meaning is fear. Even his mother does not kiss him on the burnt side. Such incidents have filled Derry with negativity and bitterment. So he prefers to live in seclusion 
and looks for places that are isolated. Mr. Lamb is also somewhat lonely, though he does not show it. He himself says that people always promise to return to him, but they never do. So this statement shows that Mr. Lamb also feels loneliness. He is often misjudged by the other people. That is why he was called Lammy Lamb. Derry's mother considers him to be crazy, somewhat insane, not a uh, normal person. That is why she does not want to allow Derry to go and meet Mr. Lamb. She says that people have warned her about Mr. Lamb. Thus, the lesson is an apt depiction of the loneliness and sense of alienation experienced by both on account of a disability. Derry says, it is not what you look like, it is what you are inside. What are the qualities this sentence encourages people to have? It is a beautiful statement that is given by Derry. It is not what you look like, it is what you are inside. One more proverb you might see in the play. The Derry says, handsome is as handsome does. This is the meaning. It is not what you look like, it is what you are inside. It is not an appearance, it is quality. That matters. This sentence encourages people to give more importance to the character and good qualities of other people than just to their appearance. As appearances can be deceptive that may be false. For instance, a man can look very smart by dressing well and grooming himself for a particular occasion, whereas in normal life he may be careless about his appearance. So people should avoid getting carried away by superficial qualities like facial looks, build of body, physical deficiencies and so on. They should try to understand whether a person has a good moral and ethical character from the person's actions. They should look for good qualities like generosity, kindness, compassion and tolerance. This is what that make the person handsome. They should strike a friendship with persons who have these qualities so that they can learn from them and improve their own moral character. The saying, handsome is as handsome does, sums up this concept very well. It means that the qualities of a human being can be understood from how the person reacts to a situation. Because, as Derry says, it was what you are inside, not it was what you are outside. So, I told you from textbook extracts will be taken and you will be asked to answer that question which that followed extracts. I have taken one extract. This is the extract you can see on the screen. You need not think they have not all told me that fairy story before. It is not what you look like, it is what you are inside. Handsome is as handsome does. Beauty loved the monstrous beast for himself and when she kissed him, he changed into a handsome prince. Only he would not. He would have stayed a monstrous beast. I want change. So, by reading this extract, you would have understood that these are the lines spoken by Derry to Mr. Lamb. The questions are multiple choice questions. This type of questions you will find in your question paper. Who spoke the above lines? You can answer this 
question very easily. So B is dairy. Second question is which word means imaginary? Monsters, fairy, beast, beauty. So in the text, it's a fairy story. It's a story which is imaginary, created in imagination, not real. B. Answer is B. Third question. Who changed into a handsome prince? Is it dairy? Is it a beast or narrator or visitor? As per the story, that is beast B. Next question is, the beauty in the above lines means, we know that what is beauty, but in the extract which is given, what does that word stands, stand for? Is it for mother or is it for a girl or for author or for quality? It is for a girl. So you would have seen in this extract, all the answers are in B, 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 B. But it will, it will not be like this one. There may be much change. So one more extract I have taken. It won't make my face change. Do you know? One day a woman went by me in the street. I was at a bus stop and she was with another woman and she looked at me and she said, whispered. Only I heard, she said, look at that, that's a terrible thing, that's a face only a mother could love. So both the extracts which I have taken, that is the statement given by Dere. Question follows, MCQ type, who went by Dere in the street? Is it Dere, Mr. Lamb or woman or author? So as per the extract, this is C, woman. Who said it would not change his face? Is it monsters or a girl or children or dairy? Question is, who said it would not change his face? All of you know that if the word face comes, it may be of dairy. So D. Third question is, what did the woman say? Look at that. That's a terrible thing. B. That's a face only a mother could love. C. Both A and B. D. None. So if you go through the text, go through the play, you will come to know both A and B are right. Last question. Where was the boy? He was in the garden, at the bus stop, the street. So the question answer is B. He was in the at the bus stop. Yes. In that play, when we listen the conversation of Mr. Lamb and that boy Derek, while discussing in different topic, Mr. Lamb narrates a story to that boy or to Derek. And uh, that uh, story has significance in this play or in that uh, story. Mr. Lamb wants Derry to overcome with the fear of outer world. So, in that play we came to know that the boy who was a 14 year old, he is, he has got his face burnt. Because of that, he doesn't want to mingle with the people. So he keeps himself away. And even he doesn't want to come out of the world, out of his house. And when Mr. Lamb comes to know the problem of Mr. that boy, Derry, he narrates one story. Narrating this story, he believes that if he listens carefully, he will or he can overcome with the fear, the fear that he has created. And he can change his attitude also. 
so he narrates that story in this way he says dairy you could lock yourself up in a room and never leave it this is what he says suppose you have a fear so you can do this you don't come out of your room and you lock yourself up in that room so that will solve your problem he says that to change this attitude there was a man who did that he locked himself up in a room and never came out of his that room why because that man was afraid of everything everything in in this world such as a bus might run him over or a man might breathe deadly germs on to him or a donkey might kick him to death suppose he comes out these things may happen that's why he put himself in into a room or lightning might strike him down or he might love a girl and the girl would leave him and he might slip on a banana skin and fall and people who saw him would laugh their heads off so he went into his room and locked the door and got into his bed and stayed there so this is what he did because of the fear you know the what had happened to that man a picture fell off the wall on to his head and killed him see so when he narrated this story even if you keep yourself inside the room or put inside the cell there are the ways a man will die so while narrating this story he listens to this story and understand this is not a solution to keep away from the people so his attitudes changes so in this play on the face of it we have discussed lot or different type of questions now it's my request read the play thoroughly so that you can understand the play you read line by line so that even objective type questions or the mcq type questions can easily be solved